is Eric Mwaga with Mwaga.com. Let's take a look at Burlington here, which is called to open law at the open of March 7th, 2019. So a sizable drop just before the market opens here with a couple of minutes to go. Let's take a look at the monthly charts here, actually the weekly and the daily charts. So we can see on the monthly chart, excuse me, the weekly chart, we can see that it was trading at about 54.10 on the weekly RSI, which means that with this drop, chances are it's going to push the RSI below 50, suggesting one of the technical reasons for this big drop. Keep in mind, the last time we had a big drop was here when we drop below 50 on the weekly time frame. One thing we can see is before this plunge, which we are going to see at the open, we can see there was a series of failed breakouts. Now, if you take this closing high on a weekly basis, you can see that over the last couple of months, there has been attempts to stay above that price range, but with failure. Now, if you take the actual closing high on a weekly basis, again, we can see there have been several breakout attempts, all of which have failed. So we can see failed breakouts here, failed breakout attempts here, and even over the last two weeks. If we draw a line connecting the previous lows and extend it, it should look like that. We can see how this line gives us the view before the drop today, which is this line has acted as resistance since the break of November giving us all these resistance areas and probably a reason why the breakout failed. If we take a look at the daily, we can see a couple of ways of looking at this. Here is a failed backtest on the daily RSI. Again, notice where the RSI traded yesterday, which means with today's drop, with the RSI crossing below 50, one of the characteristics of crossing below 50 is you have a big down session, which is what's going to happen today for Burlington. If you go and take a look, coming off the highs, this is where the RSI broke down, so we can draw our uniformity line should be something like that and you can see we've had uniform activity above the line back below it for this sell period here and over the last couple of days again we can see we've had resistance here on the red line now keep in mind this resistance on the red line so happens to be around rsi 61.8 so lots of red flags prior to today's projected gap down so let's see what the market looks like now with the open. Now that the market is open, as I record this, we can see, yes, we are dropping below RSI 50. Looks like we are also dropping below RSI 30.9. Those two levels being broken does give good basis for this big drop of about 9 to 10%. And if we take a look at the weekly, of course, the RSI on the weekly, is going to be dropping below 50 just as we had projected. Why? Because that's what happens. For the RSI to drop below 50, you need to introduce a large number into the mix. Eric Mwadith, mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E, I see, S, O, yeah.